Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorok from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business, where I talk about Laravel and related things. Topic of today is a mini review of a Laravel package called iSeed, which is a pretty old one. It was created two years ago or even more, uh, and it has 1,200 stars on GitHub, which is really popular. And its use case is really simple. Generate the seeds from existing database. It's usually, it can be used while migrating to another database, for example, or doing uh, the copy for, uh, for the testing. So, for example, you can seed, you can generate the seeds and then use those seeds to seed the testing database, like on staging or for automated tests. Now, let's see how it works. Uh, installation is pretty simple, just Composer require this, which I've done already. And for testing project, I have a small database here from another of my demo projects. So we have customers and purchases. There are 200 customers, just random faker generated, and there are 3000 purchases for every customer. Every customer has 15 purchases, which is a relatively small database, but still like 200 rows and 3000 rows. We will test it out. So the simplest usage of the package is just a command I seed with the table name. So let's do it. And actually, let's see how much time it takes to generate the table. So I seed and table customers with 200 records. Okay, it's around 20 seconds, which is quite a lot. And let's see what has it done actually. So we generated a customer's table seeder with first line is deleting everything and then doing the array insert with db table not using the model actually customer but db table which is okay and then in database seeder in the main file it added this line now a uh, second test is to generate for a few tables so for both of them so customers and purchases let's try it out customers purchases uh, if you want to do that you just uh, list the tables with comma separated and probably it will uh, ask you if you want to override the existing and let's let's see how much time it will take now okay roughly same 20 seconds for customers and now purchases okay roughly 20 seconds as well so it doesn't even matter actually probably uh, it doesn't depend on the amount of records in the table it just takes roughly same amount of time to generate everything and let's see what we have in our database seeder and we also have purchases seeder with 3000 records array and let's try it out let's reseed the database so currently we have those customers and purchases and we generated new seeds and let's try to launch db seed with that tson db seed Okay, and that's the first trouble with the package. The package is fine, but it doesn't take into account the existing relationships. So what I mean by that is customer's table seeder, the first row is deleting everything from customer, which doesn't work because it has relationships and purchases. It has customer ID. So with that, you need to be careful. Uh, you need to be careful with uh, this line and probably uh, do the deleting somewhere else. For example, I will I will do the truncating here in the database itself. Uh, and actually truncating isn't in enough. It actually, you need to delete all the records. So delete the rows. Okay, now the tables are empty and let's try again. Well, now it went perfect and really quick actually. Let's refresh and we have the same amount of uh, of rows, 200, purchases, 3000, all good, no problem. So the package itself works really well, just keep in mind uh, the relationship, the existing relationships in your database, some maybe different structure and for that we have some, uh, some options here. Uh, I will list the most important probably ones for me as I think Mm, this one so max amount of records maybe you don't want to see everything maybe you want to see just the 10 for example or I see it the same max 10 it will ask if you want to override yes we do want to override an interesting part is that it still takes 20 seconds or so roughly 
doesn't matter if you're doing max 10 or doing full database, full table, it just takes as long as it takes. Okay, and the same one for purchases. And let's see if it generates 10 records for each of that tables. Okay, we're good. And let's open up Sublime, refresh, and we have 10 records for customers and 10 records for purchases, which is exactly what we wanted. So that is fine, that's working fine. Next option is to have excluded fields. So for example, if you don't want to, uh, that's the, probably the most often example, you don't want to seed IDs and create an updated ad. Let's try it out. Uh, customers, let's leave it with just customers. Uh, and then exclude ID, created ad, updated. And yes, still same 20 seconds or so, maybe 15. Uh, and let's see what it generated. As you can see here, no ID and no timestamps, which is probably what you need because timestamps would be generated automatically and, and IDs are auto increment. There are more options here, like no indexes. Interesting if you want to uh, have this number missing so you want to have just array and probably you will merge with some other array as the author is saying and yeah more features here more options here you can uh, well just read the documentation and you can see what you can do here but in general it's a really good package to generate seeds from your existing database and i hope it's helpful if you want to have more laravel packages reviews subscribe to to the channel there's uh, actually a separate playlist of uh, reviews for the packages because the channel is full of other information and yeah see you in the next videos guys